How to make waffles from scratch. The waffle is the most versatile of foods, perfect with almost any topping, from chocolate sauce to chicken. These instructions will yield six to eight buttery platforms to support your choices. You will need two cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, two eggs, one and a half cups of milk, one third of a cup of melted vegetable shortening, one third of a cup of melted butter, two mixing bowls, and a waffle iron. Optional, creative toppings like strawberries, ice cream, bananas, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, powdered sugar, or even chicken. Step one, preheat your waffle iron. Step two, mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl. Mix the wet ingredients in another bowl, making sure that the melted shortening and butter are not too hot. If they are, the eggs will begin to cook. Step three, make a depression in the center of the dry mixture and pour in the wet mixture. Stir gently. The resulting batter should be smooth, but not too thin. Step four, drop about a half a cup of batter into the center of the hot waffle iron and spread until the entire surface of the iron is thickly coated. Most waffle irons have a nonstick surface, but if yours doesn't, or if your waffles have been hard to remove in the past, coat the cooking surface with butter or vegetable oil before you start. Step five, close the lid immediately and let the waffle cook for at least three minutes before checking on it. Remove when the waffle appears golden brown and its surface is crispy. If you're cooking for a large group, stack the cooked waffles in a baking pan, cover it with aluminum foil, and put it in an oven set to 200 degrees Fahrenheit until you're ready to serve. Step six, now comes the hard part, choosing a topping. Waffles are great with strawberries, ice cream, bananas, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, powdered sugar, or as a soul food favorite, chicken. Did you know? The Belgian waffle, square and thick with deep indentations, was introduced to America at the 1964 New York World's Fair.